Okay. Um, yeah. Y'all got me fucked up if you think what happened yesterday is gonna be how we... It's gonna be, uh, any indication of how we, you know, play this game because we got so dogged out. It was so bad. So we need to go into okay. battle training and See literally you. practice more because... Now, see, he teaches. Now, this is the interesting thing about this We're going battle training. Um, I feel like uh, maybe I just haven't scrolled, you know, far enough in it, but it's not actually showing like. Train you harder than ever. From now on, you'll be wearing weighted clothing like me. What? Like combos. Analyze your weaknesses. Wait, rule one. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, because, like, I don't see uh, an option. Follow-up attacks. Maybe that's just how the game is played, you know? Because it's just, like, when it comes to, like, combos and stuff, it's not... You know, I've done all these, but it's not exactly, like, teaching you, like, how to actually, like, do combos. And I feel like that's my, like, biggest... Thing. So maybe we'll try the super attack, see if it is show. See, what it needs to show is how to actually connect the super attack into a combo. That way, when you do a Kamehameha, it actually it's like a surefire connect. Um, and then, you know, you always get the option to watch. See, like that evolution is crazy. That's literally crazy. But see, like, I know how to use it, so let's just skip. Like, you know, you know how to use it. But it's just the mechanics into how to make sure it connects. That's the difficult part. Because, you know, to use a skill, you just fucking press the skill button. Damn, he's got sent flying. Don't make a sound, or it might be your last. You know, but, like, that's all it's teaching. Like, that's it. It's just showing how to use them. Follow-up attacks. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Over here. Okay. That might actually be something. Yeah, let's do this one. We're going to do this one. Press to use Dragon Homing after knocking back your opponent. So it's Square X, X. Ooh. One, I fucking love that sound. That sounds so beautiful. But see, like, do you, do you have to knock? Because now it's not even working. Cause like, I'm so confused. Okay. Am I supposed to hold them or something? Like, I'm, this is me pressing square and X right there. Like, that's what happened. That little tiny dash forward, that's exactly what I'm happening. Like, this is it. Like, do I have to knock them back? But see, then it works sometimes. Like, that doesn't... That doesn't really make sense. Alright, I like I'm Oh They're not supposed to be at the same time. It's supposed to be one okay. I see. I'm mistaking it for how it is in Xenoverse 2, which is you basically do the same input and you like, you know, you can knock back your opponent. Um but this isn't that, so it's supposed to be one at a time, not both at the same time. At least I thought. Yeah, it's kind of just how it goes. Like, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. See, like, I know that was it, because I just actually followed up. See, like, how's that not it? But see, it's like... 
this is what I need to learn. This one right here. The fact that this isn't even like working, it's like hard to tell. I can't tell if it's just like a glitch or not. So I'm literally trying everything. And then like you don't even like like that's the thing with this game. Like it just doesn't <laughs> it's so weird because there's not it's not connecting. I can't tell if it's a glitch or not. See, and like I'm literally spamming at the X button, and it's not even. And it, it's, it's it, this game is it, well, technically it's not even out yet. Um, <laughs> that's the funny part. But it's just so hard to tell if this is happening because of that. Like this, this cannot be this. Like I'm not fucking it up. Like every, like there's no way, bro. Like this whole dragon homing thing is like shit. And then even when I press X after, it's not even. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, well I'm glad it finally got us out of there, but. Okay. See, it just doesn't always follow up, bro. It's so annoying. Cause like even if I do like a regular combo. I mean, do I have to be in a combo to do it? It's so weird because this just doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work, bro. Like, I'm not making this up. Like, you hear, you can hear that. Like, when you hear that, that's me spamming X after, and it's not like showing that it's connected. Like, look, I'm literally pressing it, and now it connects, but it's like 50 50. See, it's not doing the knock away because he's stuck in the mount. Yeah, he's literally stuck in the mount. I think you could kind of tell that because after a while it just resets, which is kind of nice. Okay, wait, what was that? What did I. I tried to use explosive flash strike, but instead I like. Oh, I didn't mean to activate that. Instead, I like did something else, like a combo. It's funny how it turns into an infinite combo, like um, when you have this activated. Cause now I can't even do the combo. Card. See, now he's not moving out. Yeah, like, you get stuck in a map a lot in this game. I need to fix that. So, okay, this is, I'm still struggling in this. It's been like 10 minutes. So, press to use Dragon Homing after knocking back your opponent. But it's like... Here, let me see. Let's see. Let's watch the demo again. Does he have to combo me first before doing it? Yeah, no. Right, so so it looks like when it says to follow up, like that's just the X part. So it's saying, you know, use square X 
um, to like knock back your opponent and then press X to follow up, which makes sense. But it's just the square X part that is not like working. And then it works first try. And then it's like, when I press triangle, it like, I'm doing like a combo, like, how? <laughs> Like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, okay. These maps are huge, though. I'll give them that. And then that time it did. So, is that what a explosive flash strike is? Is it just like a punch? No, this is what the skill is. So here, I should be able to do the, the knockback right here. Like, this is so, I can't tell if this is just bug controlled or not, but I'm like literally about to like finish this and just call it on this like combo. Yeah, just dragging home and it's shit. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense, bro. Yeah, let's try direct let's try dragon smash how about that press to perform a dragon smash after knocking back your opponent okay see so yeah, this is basically what i was doing when i was trying to use my explosive flash strike after doing a knockback like you just you know you could do an attack follow-up but it's the vanishing assault part that's like shitty. Now, can I connect that into a combo? For like my explosive flash strike skill? Let's see. Come on. But then it's like, everything takes key in this game. <laughs> it's, I'm not used to that. Even vanishing assault takes key. What? And then like, okay, so it looks like that actually is a workable combo. Very interesting. Try it again. She's like, how's that not it? Cause I feel like that's it, but it's not. Like, how's this? How's this not me doing the vanishing assault? This is crazy. Okay, so is this vanishing attack? Is that what this is supposed to be? Over here. No, yeah. So yeah, that's exactly the move I was doing. When I was trying to use my skill. Over here, it's over. You can literally hear how many times the NPC is pressing it. Like that, that like knocking sound effects, that's the input. Wait, here, let me play that again. Hey, this is the demo, this is not my input. Like, he's literally spamming it. <laughs> what? Must be set up so that way, you know, it'll just connect. Must be, that's interesting. They probably should have muted the sound effects for the NPC input though. Just so that it doesn't sound as goofy. But they probably left it in there because they're like, who gives a shit, you know what I'm saying? If you're here now, you gotta learn it, so don't focus on the input. On the uh, you know sound effects anyway, you trash bot. That's what they're thinking. Okay. See, but it's like when I do it like that, it doesn't actually connect. 
Like I can't connect an attack after. It's like only if it's only when you teleport behind your opponent does it actually consider it done right. Oh, this sucks. I need to learn how to do that. Because all of this is useless without it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So maybe this will, you know, maybe this will help. <laughs> okay, this is what I needed. Cause yeah, I'm just watching the demos now. So yeah, so it looks like, so when you're, okay, hold on. So when you're close range, it teleports you behind your opponent and it gives him in like a massive knockback. Okay. When you're mid range, you teleport in front of your opponent and it's not a knockback. But when you're long range, it doesn't do anything. Uh, fuck me. Here I was thinking I was doing it wrong, but that's exactly how it works. Yeah, when he's long range, it doesn't do anything. Now imagine it's supposed to do something, but it's like not because of like a bug or some shit. Performing a vanishing assault at a distance will make you appear in front of your opponent via instant transmission. If activated from a long distance, you will only get close to your opponent, not attack them. Make frequent use of instant transmission as a tactic to confuse your opponent. If you want to throw your opponent off their game, make frequent use of this attack. But see, it's just not doing anything when you're long range. Okay. So you gotta be, okay, so I wasn't using it right. Okay, but that means I wasn't doing it wrong. I just didn't understand the distance. Okay. Cause I'm like, I know I'm not like this fucking bad. Yep, perfect. Now let's do it like mid range. Yep, exactly, exactly. And then if you're like, if you're too far, like basically like here. Okay, well, I guess that's not far enough. Hold on. Let's go a bit farther, like here. Let's try like here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, we, you know, we're, we're testing everything. Yeah, okay. Let's go back. It's wild, though, because everything takes so much key in this game. But, yeah, so we're getting it down. Good. I want to just see his ultimate just because I can. You know what I'm saying? Like you, <laughs> when you're here, bro. When in Rome, right? This will finish you off, bro. The sound effects is crazy. Damn, that's not like a. You're not surviving, man. But okay, so I feel I feel better now. Oh, that's so good. See, now I'm actually, now I'm actually doing something that works. <laughs> and then at log raise, it just does this. That's so funny. So yeah, don't skip around <laughs> when it comes to the training. Yeah, you get stuck in the maps a lot. It might have something to do with the collision. 
Regardless, you know, we're, we're doing it. Let's just focus on what we're supposed to be training for, which is just, uh, you know, the um, vanishing assault mid-range. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why isn't it working? You're really going to try to tell me I'm not doing it right? Cap. Cap. Interesting. It's not considering this is being right. It's low key, bro. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this input is kind of shit. I'm literally practicing this, bro. I do this shit with ease in Xenoverse 2. This is the exact same input. Like, <laughs> you're buggy. What the fuck? <laughs> you're so, so, you're telling me I was just doing it all that time in close range, but now at mid range, I can't do it at all. Okay, let me try, let me try with keyboard. How about that? So it's on V for keyboard. Okay, let's see. That's so easy, though. That's so shitty. Yeah, am I gonna switch to mouse and keyboard? No, but see, even right now, when I press V, it's like it doesn't always do it. Like that's literally me spamming V right now. Like, listen, I'm pressing V so many times, and it's yeah. So okay, so it's not just me, cause like you're so bugged, bro. I'm literally pressing V, and there's nothing happening. It might be because of where he's at. Like, if he's, like, stuck in a wall or something, that might have something to do with it. Right. See, now I do it first try. See, I shouldn't have to debug this game. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm debugging the fact that when you're, when the opponent is switched. You know, now I'm about to actually explain a little mathematics for you folks. <laughs> when the opponent is stuck in the map, it seems as if your character, your player character cannot get the vector location of where they need to spawn to. So the spawn transform doesn't know where to spawn the character, so it doesn't do anything. That's literally what it seems to be happening. That's why it's like acting as if I'm not pressing those damn buttons just because he's stuck in the map. They should have ran like a is valid check, and then if it's not valid, they see it need to like noti you know notify the character, the, the player or something. To tell them that, you know, you can't use that at this moment. Right, cause see now now I really just do it without without any trouble. Although I'm technically supposed to do it at mid-range, so let's actually do it at mid-range. Let's see. Okay, well I'd say this I'd say this is mid-range. Yeah. First try, no effort. T Grizzly said it best. That's nice. Okay. Let's keep going. I should have expected you could handle this. Huh? Yeah. So when you're far away, it just doesn't really do anything. It just like <laughs> fails. Well done. No. So now it's not working again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, this game is like high key buggy as shit, though. Cause I know that input. Like you could do the same input in Xenoverse Two, and it's basically for the exact same type of move as well. Okay. Um. Here, hold on. Let me end this right here.